Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. Uh, it's my pleasure to uh, give the talk at this SDFV Congress once again. Uh, today, I will take this opportunity to give you an update of the China Unicorns, SDN, and free activities, and uh, some of my views on the network transformation. Uh, today, the main trees of ICT industry could be summarized as ABCT, artificial intelligence, big data, cloud computing, and the Internet of Things. However, these traits could not become reality without the support of the next generation network, that is 5G, all optical network, and SDN free based network intelligence. For telecom operator, today, firstly, we still need to cooperate the explosive growth of network traffic. Cisco predicted the global IP traffic will increase nearly threefold over the next five years. But for China Unicorn, we found the situation is severe. China Unicorn public internet, the traffic growth rate remains 30 to 40 percent in recent years. That means the traffic will double in two or three years. For the mobile internet, the growth rate is much higher. China's mobile internet traffic in the first half of this year, the growth rate reached 140 percent. So it is a very big growth rate. This traffic growth is driven mainly by the video, cloud, and the mobile internet. So we have to do the network, in the network expansion continually. So the increase of the network of traffic is the quantitative change of network, except for the, this the quantitative change of the network. The network are also facing more and more qualitative change requirements and challenges, including network flexibility, network slicing, network disregulation, service agility, operation automation, and architecture simplification and the network intelligence. So we have to do the network transformation to meet this qualitative change of the network. So this year, many telecom operators proposed the network transformation plans. Two years ago, China Unicom released our new generation network architecture, Covenant 2.0, which is the guideline for network transformation based on SDN, FE, and the cloud. Last year, I have already shown you this slide, so I will not elaborate it here. Cobernet means cloud-oriented, ultra-broadband, elastic network. We said that one plus four goals for the Cobernet 2.0. The basic goal is to make the network as a cloud service or network network functions in the cloud service. There are four supporting pillars. The first one is the ubiquitous ultra broadband, which is supported by the 5 to the home, and the, uh, today is 5G, tomorrow is, uh, today is 4G, tomorrow is, will be the 5G. The second one is the elastic software network, which is based on the SDN free technologies. The third one is collaboration of the cloud networking and the terminals. The fourth one is openness of the network capabilities as well as the data capabilities. For network transformation, there are technology-driven and the market-driven approaches. For the technology-driven uh, means we need to construct the new network and the target the telecom cloud based on the target architecture. For the market driven, 
uh, Mark Javelin means that we just focus on the new services to get the uh, quick market return, no matter whether it is the uh, single window solution or the single service solution. Uh, in practical, we take the hybrid approach. On one hand, we attach great importance on the top level design to issue the network transformation uh, following the unified architecture and the standard. On the other hand, we do the partial breakthrough to get a quick return. Telecom cloud is a very important part of the network transformation. So we design the three-tier architecture of the telecom cloud, including the core data center, regional data center, and the edge data center. Uh, for the big uh, telecom cloud, uh, such as China uh, Unicom, the number of the core data center is about uh, uh, 10. Uh, the number of the regional data center is about several hundreds. Uh, and the, uh, the number of the uh, edge data center is about several thousands. So uh, today, we have uh, already uh, uh, constructed the uh, core data center and uh, uh, many uh, regional data center. Next step, we will uh, migrate uh, and uh, re-architected uh, our uh, central office to the uh, agile data center. Uh, I think uh, there are uh, four uh, big opportunities or uh, breakthrough points for network transformation. The first one uh, is smart network services for the uh, enterprise customers. Uh, with the uh, uh, enterprise customers uh, uh, move uh, their IT systems to the cloud, they need a jail network services to support the uh, uh, network and the cloud integration. So the uh, SDM-based network on demand services has a uh, uh, big market potential. The second one is core network for the MBLT. Uh, in China this year, we began uh, to uh, massively deploy MBLT. So we need a new uh, core network to support the development of uh, MBLT. This uh, provides a good opportunity for the uh, MFV uh, deployment. The third one is the uh, metropolitan network re-architecture to better support the uh, video services by uh, introducing the uh, virtual BNG and the uh, uh, virtual CDN we can uh, provide uh, better support to uh, ultra high definition uh, video services. The fourth, I also think uh, is a big uh, opportunity for network transformation is 5G, because 5G uh, is coming. 5G will uh, uh, need an uh, SDN free based network uh, to support the uh, network slicing. So involve these four areas, China Unicom uh, has uh, some uh, practices. Uh, for the network uh, services, for the uh, enterprises, China Unicom uh, provides uh, through solutions. The first one is the uh, virtual CPE for the small and medium-sized uh, enterprises, which is an OLA uh, uh, solution. The second one is SDNIP. It is an only solution. We could provide a data center interconnection and a GL VPN based on SDNIP for the large enterprises or the cloud operators. The third one is the hard pipeline solution, uh, TSDN, which it is a uh, transport-based uh, solution. Uh, this solution is uh, mainly for the financial customers because uh, these financial customers uh, need uh, actual high reliability uh, hard pipeline uh, services. Uh, this year, China Unicom 
has already uh, launched uh, several uh, virtual CPE uh, child services. Uh, with the virtual CPE, we could provide a one-stop uh, solution uh, of the, uh, networking, communication, and the, uh, cloud uh, access, as well as the uh, rich value-added services. Uh, for the SDN uh, IP, which uh, is mainly uh, for uh, large enterprises and uh, uh, internet companies, uh, we, uh, uh, we have provided uh, some solutions. The uh, first one uh, is the backbone uh, network. Uh, because the China Unicorn has a dedicated IP bell network for enterprises. Uh, in these two years, we have made great efforts to upgrade uh, our IP bell network by introducing SDN technologies. So that we could provide SDN-based layer three uh, VPN uh, for the data center uh, interconnection. Uh, we could also uh, provide uh, bandwidth on demand services to the uh, enterprise uh, customers. Uh, at the uh, Metropolitan, uh, we uh, upgraded our Lexi IP run uh, by uh, adding SDN controller and the uh, multi-domain uh, uh, octet uh, to provide the uh, uh, metropolitan uh, list LAN uh, for the uh, uh, enterprise uh, customers. Uh, it is a layer two uh, VPN uh, services. Uh, this year, we are also uh, developing our own octet based on the uh, own app, uh, 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 open source, uh, which uh, uh, could provide a unified uh, orchestration uh, for the networks of the multi-domain and the, uh, the multi-vendor. Uh, because the, uh, some the financial uh, uh, companies, such as the, uh, the banks and the security uh, industry customers, uh, need the uh, ultra uh, reliability and uh, the security uh, network services. So uh, China Unicorn uh, built a dedicated SDN-based uh, uh, optic transfer network for uh, the financial customers. Uh, this this uh, network has already covered the main uh, financial uh, center uh, in China. Uh, with the SDN, the customers could uh, uh, select uh, the own uh, link uh, route. Uh, if they could pay more, they uh, could choose the actually low uh, uh, license uh, route. Uh, for the metropolitan architecture, uh, uh, this uh, yes, we have launched. Uh, virtual uh, BNG trials in about uh, 10 uh, provinces in uh, China. Uh, BNG uh, uh, broadband network gateway is the key uh, part of the uh, metropolitan network. So uh, by uh, introducing the virtual BNG, uh, the control plane and the forwarding, uh, forwarding plane could be uh, separated. So uh, we, uh, we can use one control plane for the multiple uh, forwarding the uh, plane, the control plane could be uh, uh, deploy, uh, deployed, uh, uh, centralized deploy. Uh, this year, uh, China Unicorn has begun to uh, massively, uh, massively deploy uh, MBLT. Uh, so that we uh, need a new uh, core network to support MBLT. Uh, 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 so uh, this year uh, we uh, began to uh, construct uh, an MFA uh, based uh, core network uh, with the uh, virtual EPC, uh, the uh, core plane and the user plane could be uh, separated. Uh, the uh, control plane uh, are cent centralized deployment and the user plane uh, uh, is uh, distributed. So uh, th this is uh, the first uh, large scale uh, commercial FV deployment at uh, China Unicorn. Uh, we uh, also uh, uh, push the three layer decoupling. That means the uh, virtual network functions, 
uh, virtualization uh, layers and hardware uh, are fully uh, decoupled. Uh, yes, I, I think uh, uh, 5G is the, the biggest opportunity for the network transformation. 5G uh, is coming. Uh, it is expected uh, uh, 5G will uh, go to commercialization uh, in the year uh, 2020. So uh, at this moment, we need to do the preparation for the uh, 5G uh, uh, deployment. Uh, for 5G, uh, uh, the, the network is in the, uh, new uh, architecture. It is a service-based uh, architecture with some uh, new technologies. Uh, we should use NFSDM-based uh, technology to uh, provide a network slicing. Uh, we will uh, introduce the uh, uh, mobile edge computing. Uh, for the 5G network, it is a disaggregated network. That means uh, uh, for the core network, the uh, control uh, plane and the data plane uh, will be uh, separated. So uh, we also need to uh, uh, open up uh, the network capability. Uh, so um, uh, this year we be began to do uh, some uh, library uh, trials and also uh, 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 began to do the uh, field uh, trials in the next uh, few months uh, and uh, the next year. Uh, I think the open source uh, plays a very important role uh, for the network transformation. Uh, China uh, Unicorn uh, is uh, actively involved in some uh, uh, open source projects. Uh, China Unicorn uh, is a, a board member of the uh, ONF uh, called uh, and the owners. So uh, we also uh, make a great efforts to push uh, code uh, development uh, in China. Uh, last year, we uh, in China Unicorn initiated uh, the uh, China Code Alliance. Code is central office uh, reactivated as a uh, data center. Uh, this year, uh, uh, China Unicorn and uh, Owen Lab uh, uh, also uh, co-hosted the first uh, Code uh, Summit uh, China. Uh, anyway, for the network transformation, we are still uh, facing uh, the uh, uh, many uh, uh, challenges. The, uh, I think the uh, biggest uh, challenge is the management culture and uh, manpower, uh, because our uh, 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 legacy uh, management and the uh, operation uh, don't fit the SDNFA. Uh, as the traditional telecom operator, uh, we uh, also uh, uh, lack of the uh, uh, software and uh, IT uh, engineers. So uh, uh, open source uh, software and the wide uh, box uh, is a future of the network uh, transformation. Uh, but today we found uh, uh, most of the open source software and the wide box hardware uh, are not yet become uh, commercial uh, products uh, just for uh, POC. Uh, the third one, we still need to uh, concern that the coexist uh, existing of the legacy network and uh, uh, SDN uh, uh, network, uh, because uh, we have a very large scale uh, legacy network. So uh, how to uh, coexist and uh, integrate uh, with, with this uh, vendor uh, dependent legacy network elements is not a big issue. Uh, the first one uh, is uh, the uh, integration uh, and the operation uh, uh, problem uh, because uh, the traditional telecom operators uh, are lack of uh, uh, integration ability and operation experience for SDN and the uh, MFE. Uh, anyway, I think uh, today uh, my uh, topic is mainly on the network transformation. Uh, uh, I think the uh, network transformation uh, could uh, create uh, new opportunities for uh, our telcos. Uh, connectivity is still uh, the uh, core uh, competitive uh, strength of the uh, telecom operator. Uh, by uh, introducing the new uh, uh, technology and uh, do the network transformation, uh, we could make the connectivity from the home-to-home -home communication to the Internet of Things, this will 
been a very good opportunity for uh, telecom operate. Uh, for services uh, uh, with the uh, transformation, uh, the traditional telco services could be uh, involved to the uh, ICT convergence, including uh, cloud computing services, big data services, uh, video services, and uh, some security services. Uh, open up is uh, very important. We uh, must make our operation from closed to the open uh, collaboration. We need to build an open uh, ecosystem by uh, uh, partner with uh, uh, the customers and, and also the technology uh, providers. So the uh, open collaboration is a key uh, for success of the uh, network transformation. Uh, that's my uh, talk. Thanks. Thank, thank you for your attention. Uh.